In today's world, we tend not to think about trash much, because once it leaves our hands into the trash can, it isn't something for us to deal with anymore. Trash created by human activity, also known as solid domestic waste, is greatly impacting the globe on a daily basis. Examples of solid domestic waste include paper, packaging, waste food, glass, dust, metals, plastic, textiles, paint, old batteries, and electronic waste. Over time, the abundance and prevalence of non-biodegradable pollution has become a major environmental issue. With global urbanization, influential powers like the United States and several nations from the, from the European Union are solving ways to fight these environmental issues. Two general and different approaches that can be utilized to solve this problem are through the disposal and minimized processes of taking care of waste. In the past, methods that have relied on the idea of disposal have consisted of practices such as landfills and incineration. The initial cost, of, the initial cost is cheap for landfills, and only limited amounts of space are needed for incineration with byproducts such as ash being able to be used for industrial practices. However, landfills have high chances of polluting groundwater and have to be lined to prevent leachate, which is expensive. And on the other hand, incineration facilities are even more expensive to build and operate with air pollution produced proven to be toxic. Both of these methods follow what is called a linear economy. This is because it requires that all goods follow the steps of take, make, dump. Companies find raw materials, they use the energy to produce goods, then goods fall apart or deteriorate, and then they end up rotting in landfills, only forcing the process to repeat itself, proving unsustainable for the planet. On the other side of the aisle, the minimized process of combating solid domestic waste consists of a very familiar philosophy. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. The three R's can cause a general eye roll from any crowd, but only because there is a misconception of what it stands for. It doesn't tell us to stop our lifestyle. It only calls on us to reevaluate and simply cut back. Reducing can be something as simple as changing shopping habits. Reusing is applicable as using old clothes as cleaning rags. And recycling is just as attainable as sorting trash into a different colored container. This follows what is called the circular economy, which illuminates the unsustainable premise that our society is built on today. Backed by the three R's, it aims to be restorative to the environment, use renewable energy resources, and eradicate waste through careful design. Ultimately, there are many ways of managing solid domestic waste, and when we look to the future, we need to think about what type of legacy we want history to remember us for, and how we decided to take care of that. Thank you.